And now. It is time for the show. Rolling Man Record Night. You're listening live, you might be watching on YouTube. We welcome you to the show, Grown Men Record Night. We cover it with your host, Mr. Michael P. Miller. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us for Grown Men Record Night. This is our, uh, like, uh, damn 41st week of some or some kind of shit doing is it 41? this. 41? 41. 41. That's, uh, that's something. Hey, welcome. Welcome to the program. I've been here a handful of those. You've been here for several of those. We got our special guest in the studio this week, Steve Jones, our uh, our uh, co-host that appears from time to time. Time to time. From week to week. Week to uh, week. Yeah. I was I was here uh, two weeks ago for the show. Two weeks when we didn't have we, the show. We didn't go to air, but we it had was, what it was you still call fun. we had what you call an off-air party. We, and that's we had fellowship. Uh, fellowship, absolutely. Uh, that's what I mentioned last week. Uh, we talked about, you, you know, we couldn't broadcast, so what did we do? Well, damn, let's see. We played records, we ate some chips, and uh, had some hey, fellowship. And looked at the router every 10 minutes. You guys had a yeah. Muppet show. Was that on air or not? That oh, no, that was on air. That was a couple weeks show. before that, wasn't it? Yeah, there was some puppets that stopped by. Kermit, Horse. Yeah, you guys promoted and all that. Yeah. Tickets and people bought raffle. Uh, we'll see. Cut. Cut. Three, two, one. Okay, welcome to Grown Man Record Night. Three. Um, so we want to remind everybody that when we finish our segments here on the program, we're live every uh, Friday night at 8.30 on Ustream.tv slash uh, Machete Miller, I think it is. And um, then all these segments will end up on the YouTube channel. And we, uh, we appreciate ever all of our new folks uh, uh, joining in on subscribing and liking and all that jazz. And we, al- we also like to uh, give a shout out to Ad Blocker, Ad yeah. Block Plus. Ad Blocker Plus, yeah, if we you're rocking this. Uh, we should have a graphic plug in. Yeah, if you're rocking this live on good? Ustream, it's very important to rock uh, Ad Block Plus. But look at that, you t- you, yeah. youtube.com slash Machete Miller. That's where all these segments will end up. The, the, uh, the program, as we call it, uh, here each week. Um, that's where they'll all end up. So please go there and uh, subscribe to our channel. I'm a friend of the program. Yeah, and Steve's I a friend of the program. People, we, we, should, we should start a campaign for friend of the program. Uh, we can, yeah, we that's should absolutely. start a new category called Proud Supporter. And of, maybe even, that's exactly maybe right. even have T-shirts that friend you of know, the program. You know, uh, our good friend Sean0612, good friend of the program oh, yeah. from New Jersey, Made us a lot of these graphics and videos that we enjoy each week here. Um, he mentioned he, he mentioned on Twitter yesterday, like, uh, "What's up with some uh, Grown Man Record Night T-shirts?" Hey, that's a good idea. I think we should look look toward doing that. Um, hey, that's a good idea. B what? Hey, you, you're gonna start a kick. Mm. You're gonna start a Kickstarter. Kickstarter. B, can we get a Kickstarter? Yeah. <laughs> the T-shirts will cost Basically, a little money. Basically, buy the shirts and we'll give them to you. They're they're, they're going to be forty eight dollars a piece. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. Gotta we're going to figure it out. You have to fund We're going to figure it out. Because I'd love to have some t-shirts, and that's what it's all about. Mm. So what's been going on? Hey, uh, check this out. Today is uh, Mick Jagger's birthday. And we hadn't done it yet. The MF is 70 years old today. I Still I out touring. I should have picked up that Hot Rocks album. That's the first greatest hits. That's the best greatest hits. Yeah. It, it, it belongs in, in a class with with the album. It didn't get it. But we got actually yeah down there. If you want to, throw, I don't know. That may get us flagged. If anything's going to get us flagged, Rolling Stones. How about if I flagged. play it real low, just so uh, low that they can? But we're going to play. I've got the um, no. Some Girls album I picked up recently, which is what right here. It's one of my favorites. Right there. That's one of the covers, uh, empty cover I've got. And then I actually picked up the real album last week. It's in the crate over there, not the box. But it'll, um, I don't know. I'm afraid Rolling Stones will get us flagged on YouTube. Good. we got to be careful what we play behind us, folks. I'd love to just play music on the the, um, the YouTube or, uh, you know, while we're doing this. But we got to be careful because sometimes we'll get flagged. And be a, the one uh, album that really got me flagged is when we did our Super Bowl special. And, um, and uh, during the Super Bowl special... 
what I was playing underneath was Huey Lewis Sports, right? Sports. Oh, I, yeah. yeah, I figured Sports. Hey, exactly. Sports. That's funny. We'll play that while we're talking about football, right? Yeah, that got us blocked in every freaking country in the entire world. Because they, they were coming up with that 30th anniversary. Probably so. Whoever the publishing company and was, they have to control YouTube them. said, <laughs> nope. So we didn't get any love from that. So that's what kind of reminded me that we need to be kind of careful like what we play underneath while we do the show or, or else it'll get. We're cognizant. We're cognizant. That's a good word. Good word. Uh, what else was I going to There's mention? a lot of good C words. Coherent. Yeah. Cogn cognitive. Oh. Carl. Carl's a good word. I like the C word. The Carl word. That's a good Carl word. Uh, there's something else I was going to mention. I was going to mention. Um, mention some things. It wasn't about t-shirts. You already moved on. I'm, I'm, I mentioned that. What about that Anthony Weiner cat, man? <laughs> I mean, he got busted with another like a sexting scandal. Carlos Danger? Carlos Danger. That, that Weiner uh, sure is another. He got busted again. I think the uh, the Republicans actually have gathered um, all the names of their Democrats and will run them through this uh, uh, sexting name generator. Oh, really? Yeah, and there's some other funny ones. I, I, didn't, I haven't read about it yet, but apparently that's that's happened. I liked Michael Vick's, um, his alias that he used when he would check into hotels with women or whatever it was he did. Um, Ron Mexico. That's one of the best ones ever. <laughs> Ron Mexico. That's I, a great I name. That's oh, a lot of Probably use that. more like a porn name. I want to use that forever and always. Um, so we're going to uh, not, let's not waste any time here. Okay. No There's time lots wasted. of things we can sit here and baloney we like about. Sit, we like to sit back and, and baloney a lot. We like That's to good. baloney, but we've got a lot of records baloney to talk good. about tonight. We've got a lot of records to talk about tonight. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Maybe. Yeah. Go ahead. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Since we've got so many records to talk about, we're going to include this all in one great big old segment of Dig of Dig, the Week. Dig of the Week. That's what we're talking about here. Dig so, of the Week. For this Dig of the Week, normally run down the the uh, the, uh, the um, normally run down the songs that we play throughout the evening, the albums that we play. Right, you like to do, hit that first. A lot of the ones tonight have been. Um, a lot of the new stuff. So I'm just going to include this all okay. in one big heap and thing. Okay. You brought a bunch of records. I got a bunch of new records. I spent $50 almost on the nose this week on records. I went digging twice this week. I went to um, Ed McKay's in Winston-Salem. Sure. Uh, well, they're usually a little more high priced, but I picked up some great stuff at a decent you, price. You got a great two dollar record there. Yeah, oh, I got a, two great two dollar. We heard records. it. We heard it just a while, little while ago. And uh, then we went today to one of our real digging spots, not necessarily a music store, where we checked out. Um, checked hint, out a, I'm gonna I'm I'm give everybody a hint. They also sell pocket knives. It's an antique type place. Boris. But Some it was really cool salt and pepper shake. It was good time business. Speaking of that, we played it this evening. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying the new format. Now, the new format is kind of no format. It's kind of just a rolling. Well, there's I would a say format. More format. There's a format, but normally, it's, nor it's more. It's more. We're trying. We're trying to hit a nerve in people. Yeah. And keep that. Keep that hit. Normally, there has been a them. hierarchy in grown man record night where we start with early jazz. Go to uh, regular jazz, all you classic stuff. Use some sort of bridge to get us into funk, and then use some sort of uh, bridge from funk to get us into rock and roll. A lot of times, like um, like hip hop or a blues record or something like that. So uh, there's there's always been that hierarchy, but sometimes recently we've noticed it's like we don't even get into rock records till it's like twelve one in the yeah, morning. Sometimes we get caught up in jazz and funk and just have enjoy the whole night, and that's, that's yeah. Cool. And I like all that, but then I realize like, damn, we ain't even played a rock record, and it's like it's way late. So what we're doing now, folks, is we're we're mixing up jazz, funk, rock, blues, reggae, hip hop, all of it, uh, and maybe throw some ambient in there. We haven't really done that. We, we should do that. But, we, um, might even hit you with a, that, we might even hit you with a country song if you're not Country oh, song. Don't even tempt. Oh, some but stuff we that makes sense for grown men record night. Right. So um, that's what we've been doing for the past two weeks, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun changing stuff up, and I know some people like the jazz more than more than they do the rock. Some people tune in late to get to the rock. Well, hey, folks, nowadays it's going to be a whatever, a whatever. It's going to be all over the place. 
like somebody with a paint cannon. You know what's great? It's great. It's great for old man Wrecking Ball. Listens to his that's viewers what, and says, "Hey, guys, what yeah. do you here?" That's what a paint cannon. I want cannon. to play that. That's what a paint yeah, cannon. Yeah, no, sounds the paint like. cannon. Is yeah, loaded. paint cannon. What are, you a, what are you a foley artist? What we want to I hear? Could, I could. Do you have a piece of sheet metal we can shape for yeah. thunder? So let's get it. We're already in dig of the week. Let's get into dig of the week, and we'll start with some stuff that I picked up today. Maybe I'll stop. I'll stop part of the way through, and you can do some of your records. I'll, I'll probably just interject as you go along. Okay. So. So, based, um, based on your timing of what, what you're And some of about. these you need to uh, mention because um, uh, you came yeah. over two weeks ago and well, yeah, yeah. there was no I'm, broadcast, I'm, and so we're kind of behind. And, yeah, I'm getting okay. caught up. Bring that bug. Huh? Okay. What graphic is this you're going to? Dig of the Week. We're re racking. Just to remind everybody. We're re racking. That's Dig a, of the that's week. A three, two, it's a reopen. It's a reopen. Dig of the Week with your host, Michael P. Miller. Okay, we're back here on Grown Man Record Night. Here in the hot ass portion of July, I'm wearing my uh, oh, Louis C.K. shirt. Why? Why the Why the bobblehead dogs getting all the air is beyond uh, me, my belief. I don't know. Of understanding. Uh, the, I'm wearing my Louis C.K. shirt. It's my black comedian shirt. Okay. Okay. Not black comedian, like African American. Not black. No, 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 no. Okay. So, first record we want to talk about. I picked this up. This is worth a chunk of change. This is in rough shape. I played one track earlier. It's in kind of too too rough a shape to really play on the show. Oh yeah. I this, need to clean it, it, it and get it, it, it a good pretty rough. Jazz spectacular. Frankie Laney and Buck Clayton and his orchestra. Uh, this is a great great record. Uh, this is early, man. It's like 56 or some kind of crap. I looked it up in the store, picked it up today. It's a man, really old record. Mm -hmm. It's th this is the original pressing and we I I think it's 56 or 57. So I can't hate on it too bad for being in such bad shape because no, no, yeah, man, just, that record's just great to have things like that. That record is old, son. I just mean, that's big time it. old. Um, let's see. Let's let's sl slide on down the rest. Here, here's one we played. I don't actually. I didn't end up playing this because I tried it and it was a little too rough. A little bit too rough. You got, this in, is, you got in and out. I got in and out. I actually I didn't even play any of it. This, oh. this is uh, this is the Ohio Players Rattlesnake. And I need to take a little more look at this and see if I can clean it up a little better because it was only two bucks, and it's of course it's uh, with the Ohio players. You got the real sexy uh, gate folds and oh Jesus, look at that! Look at that right there. Ooh. So that's always easy. That record's at the bottom. Don't let it tear off. Yeah, look at that. You know how the Ohio players do, man. I don't know if you can show that. But it's yeah, it's a little inappropriate. <laughs> but it's, uh, that's the Rattlesnake album. Well, uh, it's uh, that, uh, yeah, I got it. That's seventy-five on Westbound Records. I'm gonna have to do some work on this one. You know, I don't, I don't really know what to say about it, other than I need to do a little, do a little, uh, do a little work on it. Also picked up, and we heard a little bit of War All Day Music. Uh, not familiar with this War record. Uh, got a lot of other war records. I don't really know much about this. This is recorded live June. Oh, this is one one track. Seventy one. This looks like a little earlier war. You know think, anything about this, Steve? Uh, no. Sorry. I don't. I can't see a year. I got a question. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it's got Lee Oscar on it. I'm though. concerned that our viewers huh? may not be able to hear the background music. Now I know we want to keep it low. Yeah. But I want them to give us a little feedback as to whether or not they can hear us. Broadcast a little bit of music to go with the talk. Yeah, I think are it varies. You are you monitoring? The, the, I'm trying. Uh, the you chat? know, it's the best I can. I'm yeah. The chat? I no, I can't monitor that. I don't see it up. Okay. Just a it it does concept, Lee Oscar. There's a Anyhow, website. And stuff. War record. Uh, new one. It's got this you cool. Know, I think I saw somebody on the VC talking about this. Uh, they said, you know, the the War record, all day music. Um, they said they're in front of a of like a beer and wine store, which they are here. And the guy was like, yeah, I'm from that hometown. Like, I live there. I know that store. Cool. I don't know why that just Well, the first record I played tonight was this uh, Jay Giles band. Tell us a little about Bloodshot. this. Bloodshot. It's 1974. And the original pressing is red vinyl because they, they love they, you know, show that. Up. Hush. They, they love the, uh, hush. The, the classic look of Atlantic Records, which was red shellac. Yeah. And this is the red vinyl. That was the original, you know. Uh, and that, that last song, Give It To Me, is just so awesome. It's got a great breakout. When the whistle blows, it's just like, yeah. there's a, There's a couple of drum breaks on this Jay Giles record. Oh, yeah. I don't want to blow the whistle on it, man, but this, that <laughs> shit's nasty. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if anybody sampled that, but. And then I, 
I, we played this one, Pacific Gas and Electric. Oh yeah, man. And when I first, I had heard of these guys through a, a, a psychedelic music book that I have, but this is, I mean, it's psychedelic, but it's it's blues to the core. Sure. It's, you know, psych blues, I now, guess. But talk about that cover, man. What's all on that cover? <laughs> Well, it's called "Are You Ready?" Yeah, and it's it's a young, beautiful young woman. Looks like it might be someone on a. Is that a banana? On, well, it's a banana, a pickle, and a hot dog. You know, okay. I, you know, I have no idea what, right. they're, what they're saying. Ding dong! I, I haven't been able to figure that out. Innuendo. Ding dong! In you end Ding dong! No. Ding dong! But this this was a good album. And we followed that up with uh, or somewhere in there, <laughs> Moody Blues to our children's children's children. Children. That's your request of an eight-year-old. Oh, what a great gatefold this is. You know what year this is? 69, I think. Okay, this is on the um, Threshold label. Yeah, and, all, uh, all the great all the great Moody Blues albums are on the Threshold. Yeah, 69. You got it, baby. They made all their records before 1936. Yep. And then they released them in 69. That's how it works. Hey, show this gatefold. The cover's not much to speak of. I mean, it's in kind of chitty shape, to be honest. The Moody Blues... But look at the... The great thing that. about the Moody Blues is they discovered the Mellotron. And the Mellotron really? is one of my favorite instruments of all time. It's, a, it's an analog uh, uh, keyboard yeah. that has tape loops. Oh, that's and you can, right. You can have a string Mellotron. You can have the, the horn sound. They play for seven seconds. So usually if you hear a drone, it doesn't last any longer than seven seconds. Huh. How many records does that make? A lot. A lot? There's, a, there's about seven that you need. You really need. Yeah. Okay. Starting with days Okay, good. I've past. only got like five, and I'm this already makes, like... Well, I don't want to give it away. That made my third Moody Blues record. Uh, and it's really cool. I mean, we listen to First Side, and I'm like, it's a good record, man. It's a good record. That is a good record. I, bro I broke it up with uh, a little... Uh, uh, EP, this is a Double Dutch Bus. The Double that Dutch I bus. remember people listening to when I was going to high school. They, is this a they, they handmade were friends cover? Friends of friends. It looks like somebody wrote all one of those that didn't have any writing on the, the sleeve, so she, uh -huh. she she dressed it up. Somebody got busy with a little Marcus. She loved Frankie Smith and she dressed it up. She sure did. Hey, that's cool. Did Double she Dutch or did bus. she not use an exclamation point to. Uh, exclamation point or one exclamation there? mark? And then the beginning Both. of the uh, beginning of this show, w we played this album. This is Chase. You oh, turned yeah. me you turned me on to Chase. I found I, I found that one today. Way. Yep. But I also found this one, and I think it's an earlier Chase album that has really some cool stuff on it. Chase is Bill Chase. It's a trumpet player. Trumpet player, and it's a but he's got a great kind of psyche. It's blues fusion band behind blues him. prog. It, it kind of covers the gamut of the one I had, which is the gold one with the I can't remember the name of it where he's holding yeah. uh, trumpet up. But it's uh that one's really cool and I did I've never seen another um another one. Did you get a Beatles record? Oh this this is we had we had talked okay. about that. Yeah. All right, all right. Hey, I also picked up and I hate that the cover's in this rough of a shape. But uh There's some rats that ate on that. It looks like some here's a quarter. Go downtown and have a rat and all that thing off your face. Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Buck. Uncle yeah. Buck. You know what a hatch <laughs> is, right? It's like a small axe, yeah. Yeah, sort of. So what this is, folks, it's a torn up copy of um, Fleetwood Mac's Tusk. And, um, and you know what the viewers want to see? What's that? Me? Was that you? The that viewers want to see uh, you break that on I the ear. Slash. No, 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 no. No, I'm kidding. They don't. No, no, no. no. So tell it's me about great, Tusk. It's a great double album. 79 on Warner. They were already having their problems. They were over it, but... They were able to put together a double, kind of like White Album is to the Beatles. Tusk is kind of right. complete with Mac because everybody had their own thing going on, and you can tell whose songs are whose. But right. it's always been that way with Fleetwood Mac. Okay. But it's it's a great album, and it's got Tusk. You know. Now, when we got that box a couple what? of weeks ago that you and I split up, um, it comes with four sleeves, two and two, and they go together. What? Which, He's which, asking oh, me which, which side one? to play. Oh, shit, I don't know. Let me see it. Uh oh, I'm getting attacked. So, um, damn it, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that, uh, what was your favorite movie ever? Judge Dredd is my favorite movie ever. That doesn't really mean anything. Yes, it does. It means a lot. So, anyhow, we're going to play one of these underneath uh, while we're talking here. And Steve is figuring out which one we, we should we should hear while we we're talking about it. Side one. 
We should play a sad one. This, my favorite one was where Mike McDonald sings about uh, roses. Yeah. Uh, the, not not the flower, but the store. Kiss from roses. A, kiss from a seal. Yep. Isn't that what it's called? Clean it. Clean it? Mother. <laughs> I didn't say mother. Yeah? I said clean it. Okay. It needs to be clean. All right. A quick swipe. So we're going to take a look at that I gave y'all. I gave y'all a new solution. I did the isopropyl. Y'all had, y'all were out of that juice. That's true. What's that? I put it directly on the pad. You can put it in there. Do whatever you okay. need to do. Next thing I picked up, this is a Zap. Zappa? This is the second. No, not Zap. You got Zap. Another, you got another Zappa Z -A -P -P. album? Z-A-P-P. And this is 82 on Warner. And these guys are kind of like funk. Um, that early 80s. What do you call that, man? It's, it's, um... Or like funk. Gap Band? Yeah, where it kind of starts, it's poppy, funky. Commodores? I don't, I don't know. We're not experts here, folks. We're just a couple gentlemen having a good time. Soul? It's all soul music. Sure, of it's course. It's all soul So you got a guy, you got a, some African-American gentleman wearing some ridiculous how outfits. Many people, how many people in that? I always like to count how many people are One, in the band. Two, three, if four, there's more five, than eight, six, I'm seven, really eight, excited. Nine, ten. Ten. I'm yeah. excited. One, two, three, yeah. Look at that. Let's hold that up, Cameron, if you wouldn't mind, please. What we'll do a little front and a little back. A little front and a little back. Front. Zap. And I'll check that out on the fall. Get a little tighter on the back. Pretty, Get a little tighter on the back. Yeah. It seemed pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know. It seemed like these gentlemen were getting I like that cover, it. man. That's, yeah. that's hot. It's hot. It's got that cartoony kind of feel to it. I love how Funk kind of adopted this comic book-esque style art, like in the late 70s and early 80s. I don't know what that came from well let me tell you a story about this album yeah I, I meant to show this album two weeks all ago. right this was my dig of the week two weeks ago you were going to bring it and we couldn't go on the air that's right actually no you know it was earlier than that remember the time before i forgot my records yeah that's and right we did, it was the puppet oh, show yeah, night the puppet show. we opened night. with the puppet show but i didn't have my records so this was the one i was going to show dig of the week this is called well it's uh it's called soviet funk yeah and it's, it's in What's the deal with that? That's um, all, the story uh, behind it from, from the album yeah. itself is that there was a member of the Russian symphony who was commissioned by the Soviet government to record uh, traditional Soviet music and, and stuff like that. But at night he was gathering with some of his other symphonic friends and they were right. playing, they had records from the West and they were oh, playing, wow. they were playing funk record funk music yeah and so this this is the recordings but it's it's all a hoax Ooh. it's actually all a hoax it's, it's still a hoax? it's still a, oh come on you brought a hoax over here it's still a great it's still oh. a great album of funk music you guys want a little bit of truth about the soviets In itself soviets. you know what the soviets the soviets soviets okay those commie bastards from yes. the okay 60s. okay Easy. hey you know well, what they have some soviet friends watching this oh no like, no no no, like no. i love them to death what if they were like a record here's album? the greatest thing about them we don't we realize told, nowadays we're all like it. hey we beat them soviets didn't we or did we <laughs> or 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 did, or did we but the the funny thing about this is if you know if you know if you know russian some of the I titles, some of the titles of the songs are just ridiculous. It's I like know that does one of the Russian. songs' titles is something like "Man Who Has Sex with Twelve Year Old Girls." Oh, okay. And there's another called "Pedophile," some, some, some kind of Peterfall. some kind of monster. And it's like these would not Coming be titles three, that these guys would, two, would actually have. So one, it's a hoax. Welcome to Grown Great Man Record, record Night. Though. Great funk record, and we're gonna we're gonna hey, listen to it. Your so they don't know it's, it's it's red. Oh, vinyl. red vinyl with the CCCP. See Let's hold that up, baby. This is, oh, no. this oh, look is at redder that. than the pink vinyl that actually that other oh, one. That's cool, like. man. Look Such at that. Stuff. Let's get that CCCP up in there. Uh, like this. Records looks. I used we'll to have see a, what I used to have it a, sounds like when we play CC, it. I used to have a CCCP basketball jersey. That oh, I don't, yeah. I don't think my dad liked me wearing that. Probably not. He was in the military, right? He was in the Army, yes. Okay. Command Sergeant Major. Very proud. Um, oh, really? Wow, yeah. that's... That's a big deal. That's a big Bring deal. Bring that whiny stuff. Deal. What is that? A Blackberry stuff? Let's take a pull of that. The Blackberry juice. I'm going to need you to spell that out. Those Blackberries would, that we let the, uh, sit The Blackberry here. juice. Oh. It's in, the, to, uh, it's in the freezer. I uh, picked up a ADC band today. Yeah. Long Stroke. Long Stroke. Uh, man. This looks like a I scene I think you from, had an ADC band. And then I, I picked did. up this one and I found it again and decided that you needed to have it. Yeah, this one, this is a uh, '78 on Cotillion, and I checked it out. Thanks, sir. I do love the Cotillion label. Yeah, absolutely. That is a subsidiary. I think I learned this from uh, Super West. Cotillion was a subsidiary of Atlantic. 
they many were. And um, and uh, and when uh, the, when they sold so many records or got to a certain level of prominence, they would move them from the Cotillion label over to Atlantic. Right. And I didn't know that. I sound, I was like, oh, okay. There were a lot of other labels on the Columbian label too. Yep, absolutely. I think some uh, some other ones in. Yeah. So let's let's show these gentlemen off the wood, please. So that's uh, we'll I recently I recently finished feedback. entering all my records into a an Excel worksheet. And it's, how, one, it's how did that awesome. Work out? Now that it's done, it's right. awesome. It was a pain in the butt doing it, but now that it's done, you know, I just sit there and watch a baseball game and just hey, can, you know, can I enter. just say congratulations? Now you got like. But I, I did the whole now thing. Now you've got at least 3,000 more records. I did the whole thing and then realized from him that I, I should have entered the catalog numbers. Well, I don't know why I wasn't sure. thinking. Because that's the, you need the catalog number more than anything. Even a catalog number can't save you for. Uh, from how many records there are I have to thank my wife for helping for me set up the Excel spreadsheet because I'm an idiot. So. Well, they're they're great. I love Excel. Let's drop that bug in there. Really? Yeah, sure. Let's remind people what they're watching, man. re uh, Okay, we'll keep it moving. Also picked up um, a Rare Earth album, there Get Ready Today. Now this I've is, got that record. Do you really? Yep. This is 1969 on Motown. This is my second... Um, I'm just going to pop it out right now. Also picked up earlier this week. The reason I bought this Get Ready record today is because a few days ago, I picked up the Rare Earth Ecology, Ecology. record. Ecology, that's a great record. This yeah. is 1970 on Motown. I picked this up for two bucks, and it jammed. I love this record. I remember when Ecology came out, the whole really? idea of Ecology. I had a green lunchbox that was made of plastic, and it had the E Ecology logo. It was green. Yeah. And it had that kind of spongy, pushy, plastic feel. Hmm. Ecology. Okay. <laughs> what was spewed into the river to make that freaking lunchbox? Ecology. And why did it take us so long to finally realize why important? Why well, important? I'll show you, I'll show you briefly uh, some other records I picked up recently. Okay. Yeah, hit us up. Uh, there's this one called That Drummer's Band, Gene Krupa. It's a Oh, Gene Krupa! But it's, you know, Gene Krupa. Starring Gene Krupa! I think John Bonham owes his, his life to Gene Krupa. Uh, That's cool, man. Yeah, Gene Krupa is a banana. Yeah, bananas. If you've never and he was, out he Gene was Krupa, bananas just like John, John Bonham. Bonham he was just as bananas. He, he, uh, this one is really interesting. It's yeah, called, tell us about this. Well, this is Bagpipe Blues by Rufus Harley. This is a, a jazz guy playing saxophone and, and whatnot who was very much touched by Kennedy's assassination and claims that a lot of people started playing bagpipes because during his funeral they huh. played the bagpipes. And it just, he was from Philadelphia, a lot of other musicians started playing bagpipes. What but year he, is he, that from? Uh, well, this is 65 on yeah. Atlanta. Which is back, yeah. Bagpipes, so, but yeah, you, you, gotta hear, you gotta hear these songs, because some of them are straight up blues on this tenor sax, but they're all blues and jazz with the bagpipes, and it's just yeah. like, I never thought it could happen, but it happens, and it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I this is this is ready. And these are like. Hey, maybe during the break we'll play something. Else. We should play a little bit of this because this I is. Play all this of is unique, folks. Yeah. I'll tell you what. We listened to this when we had a little off-air party. This bagpipe blues, man. You're talking. They're kind of rocky songs, man. And it, it'll uh, make your ears perk up. You like. It's like what, what? the hell? Yeah, but it's cool. They're off. It's really and I cool. picked up one other. Well, I picked up a few others, but one other record that I picked up today is uh -huh. Ike and Tina. Turner record called Working Together. Oh man. Uh, it, the Tina year, Turner looking hot I, on the back, baby. Look at that. I don't quite know what year. I think it might be 71 or something. I was like going to say 70. I don't know. I don't know. But it's. Steve, it's, uh, Steve doesn't know. It's good. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I remember you pulling that up on your phone and in, in, the, in the store. Yeah, we, ch we checked hey. it on. I check things on iCrates now you when, I go, when what, I go digging. Uh, and it helps a lot. You want to see what Steve looks like when he digs records? Hey, cameraman, if you would. Look, look down there, there'll be a picture of, uh, of Steve. Oh, really? These are yeah. action shots? No. Nope. Are they in slow motion? I'd like to nope, see them this, in this slow motion. This is a still shot. Look down there at the bottom. And maybe here. some, uh, maybe a lens flare going off across. Yeah, let's look at that. This is Steve getting overwhelmed with I a bunch a of clip. records. I brought a clip. That was a bunch oh, of... Oh, there you go. I remember doing yeah, that. Yeah, okay. yeah, I took that with my, uh, with my iPhone. Yeah, that's when you got a bunch of uh, 10 cent records. That was 10 cent day. That was July 4th. Yeah. At CFBG, what a wonderful sale. They had a ton of good jazz records. They were cheaper. They were like, you know, you could get an $8 record for $6 or $3. But, yeah. but then they had the bottom row dollar records were all 10 cents a piece. Oh, that's cool. Man. I was able to get 39 
for $3.90. And there were others, but my back was just killing me. My back was killing me working on the floor down there. Oh yeah, that's rough on you, man. You got you. Because they're 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 deep. That's deep. Keep it moving, man. Okay. Move um, it. Mass production. Move thanks it or to, lose it. Thanks to the cameraman, he had a mass production. He knows I, I'm deeper into the funk than he is, so he hooked me up with a mass production out of the uh, like what it was, the 1500 records or whatever the hell it was that you scored in the living room yeah, they, over there. Uh, so I saw this uh, mass production today. Oh, it's 76 on Cotillion. Welcome to our world. Another mass production. Had to score that two bucks. I got yes. a question for you. Can I sure. ask it? Sure. Oh, let's quick. get on with it. It's pertinent. Sure. Did you use a flat shovel or a spade shovel for this day of the week? Uh, it's been it's been a little moist here recently, so I didn't necessarily have to go with a spade. I could use a flat because I didn't have to get necessarily oh, down to the deep. it was deep. a little loose. A little loose. Okay. You have a lot, a, a lot of have, moist soil around here. you have here. a hoe? Oh, I've got hoes. A hoe works so good. Yeah. For, oh, I've got hoes. You got a good hoe. You got to pull it. Okay. I've got some hoes. I don't want to get into that whole deal right now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's that's a sore subject. Uh, hey, we talked about a Moody Blues record earlier in the program, didn't we? With the one that was... You've got a good hose, right? Uh, hose. H -O -A yes. You don't want to get hosed. I'm a record. Hey, Steve, I'm a record from a long time ago. Everybody wants to play on me. I picked up another, um, I picked up another Moody Blues record today. This is a question of balance. It's a what good you, record. What you know about there's this? A lot I haven't more, played this at all. There's a lot more acoustic, but it's okay. still got the, it's still got the, that. Oh, I love it the way God they, Almighty. I love it the way they always drive with the bass drum, like a big bass. What, you know what year this is? I do not know. I'll say it's 1970. It's on threshold. Maybe 70. Um, but I will say this is a really nice gatefold. Yeah, 1970. Good call. Good call. Let's. It's, um, it's got. Yeah, uh, hold that gatefold. Let me, let me tell you what. I think I think cameraman went outside for a second. All Look right, at that gatefold. Try to do this. Without... Look at that, guys. That's good time business. Good time business. That's, That's a great an awesome gatefold. cover, though. Can't get enough sure. of uh, can't get enough of the Moody Blues, man. That's a band I slept on for a long time, and then I'm like, damn it, why did I sleep on this band for so long? You know what? Here's the reason: because you've heard why their do radio we never songs. Why get an answer? Their yeah, stuff that's not radio songs is here. I got something Bush for you. Uh, you got something for us? Bush is my oh, oh, dude, Melancholy Man's on here. Okay. Me and my buddy Jack recorded Melancholy Man recently. Nice. Covered what you got nice. there? Is that the actual shovel we do our digs of the week with? Yeah. Look at this, folks. It's got paint on it, because sometimes we have to dig where there's paint. That's true. Look at that. Don't this is a, face with it. That's a real, Don't knock over that's that a real rusty shovel. Rusty Shovelford. How's the album doing? Are we doing okay? What's playing? You got something queued up. Yeah, playing? Yeah, we have something I'll queued set up that down. Here. You want to take that? Yeah. You take that. Mm -hmm. Set that back where we do our digs with. Okay, hey, check this out. Adam and the Ants, King of the Wild Frontier, 1980 CBS. I'm real excited to play this. I don't have any Adam and the Ants. Let me see that. Man. Stand and deliver. Um, I'm a fan of this uh, type of music. I don't have much of it. I've got some new wave. Would it's, you consider good, this new it's, wave? It's good British new wave. And yeah. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Cameraman's got a great uh, it's definitely new Dead one. Kennedys record. Dead Kennedys? Yeah. Show, yeah. show that. Yeah, Looks we'll like that. it's shot oh, off a monitor. It's, it, it's definitely shot off a monitor. The, the, yeah, back, like the, back side's, the back side's cool, too. You see the I back. like that effect. What? I'm good. I'm good. I like that effect. I, I so tea. we're going to check that out here. I'm drinking some sweet tea that I made earlier today. Um, with also, turbinado sugar. Also um, picked up. Return to Forever, Romantic Warrior. Now tell me a little bit about this, Steve, because I got this kind of based on you. Well, Let me just I, tell you a little bit about the players here. Okay. Don't, now, don't say anything yet. No, let okay. me tell you. I saw this album in the store for like $2, and I thought, man, that is the stupidest looking cover it is in the world. Uh, so I didn't take it home. It's stupid. When I got home, I just did a random search. I did Return to Forever, Romantic Warrior, and I was, holy crap. Crap, I couldn't believe I passed on it. So I was like, I had to go back and get it, tell him who's on it. Yeah, you went back and got this one and several other, didn't you? There was another, I got yeah. two or three returned to four. Okay, so we're talking Chick Corea, Stanley Clark, Lenny White, and Aldi Niola. Yeah. 
This is and 70, we heard we heard Aldi Miolo just in the middle of the show here. This is seventy six on CBS. It is. And look at great. that. It's got like this uh, night, night it's, and white Well, it's satin. called. It's the, al the na name of the album is Romantic Warrior, and he's yeah. like a he's like a, oh, that turns a me knight with a anyway. rose in his hand. It's like okay, okay. That's kind of what made me not buy it. And yeah, I was like, well, I, I this understand. Is, this is actually their biggest selling album that they had. Sure. It sold like six hundred thousand or something like that. Mm. It's it's a good album. I want to thank Trisha Bailey for this blackberry juice. Really? That's good stuff, Let me man. See that. Is that, is that uh, Junior Johnson? It should be. Hello, you're live on the air. Thanks for taking uh, your, your my call. Your girlfriend hung up on me. That's normal. Um. So. Uh, We'll keep it moving. Hey, I picked up That's my good. third. Yeah, that is really good. As yeah. it gets near the bottom, it's really good with those that blackberries. Fruit, that fruit. It's real blackberries. I, I want to hit that fruit. Real North Carolina blackberries. We should make a there, smoothie. Folks. Oh, we should. Um, Hey, I'm talking about my third. Get on in there. Cameraman, get, get on in there. Get yeah. you some. Yeah. Come on yeah. now. Get you some. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Yeah. 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 Okay, we're talking about my third Jean-Luc Ponty. Oh. Jean-Luc Ponty How album. many albums did he make? They're, they're all know. great. They're all great. This is my third, I believe. And uh, this is Cosmic Messenger. He's played with Zappa. He's played, He's with, played with Zappa. He's played with He's Mahavishnu. Played with Mahavishnu Orchestra. Absolutely. 78 on Atlantic. And uh, listened to one side of this the other night off the air during the week. Fantastic fusion, man. And he's a, he's a violin player. Uh, but the, I don't. I don't remember hearing violin on this very much at all. Oh, I mean, no, but it's, no, it's all over. It's it may be, it's but so it's, good you it's can't. Probably, it's yeah, so it's so so heavily processed. So good you and can't nowadays, I find myself gravitating. That's nice though. You, more, you can just remove yourself from any trying to pinpoint shit. Like sure. I have a big problem when I watch TV and when I see trailers and when that, I see let's hold that cover when I see on. animated movies. I'm always like. Oh, that's that's the voice of Glenn Campbell. That's you know yeah. uh, Matt Damon in there, so and so, and it just ruins the whole. Of I really what find you're myself accomplish gravitating a lot more toward fusion than I thought I ever would. Yeah, it's well, something. Well, fusion that, is great. It's I mean, something that kind of speaks to me, and I don't know why. It because just, it's uh, it's it's okay. it's a, it's very close to experimental. It's close to. Yeah. You know, I don't know. It, Those are the type of scales I hear in my head. Okay. Like that. I hear that all the time. I can't stop it. That goes all the time in my head. It's not just your head. Oh, you got the drumming? Okay. Also picked up earlier this week a little Steely Dan Pretzel Logic. Oh, great record. I picked that up today. Yours Did, is in yeah, much better shape. That's right. I paid four bucks for mine though. You had two bucks for yours. This is 74 on MCA. It's the uh, first song in there. First song is Ricky Don't Lose That uh, Number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Night by Night. It's any a great major, album. It's any major dude album. will tell you. Barrytown, East any St. Louis. Major dude will tell you. I used to talk to a girl from East St. Louis. She was a roadie for um, Triumph. You remember that band, Triumph? East St. Louis is a And she would tell me the thing she... East St. Louis is a dangerous place. It is a dangerous it's place. It's a dangerous yeah. place. She told me she was just um, across um, the river um, 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 from um, Chicago. It's a dangerous right? place. It's a King Crimson. But she was a, she was a, <laughs> a legit like roadie okay. for Triumph. Triumph. I did a freelance job. Triumph. Right, and she was I always like, think of V guitar the band? when I think yeah. of Triumph. Yeah, the band, the band the Triumph. The but she was like... No, no, no. The, the brand. No, 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 no. The band. And so oh. she was like, have you ever heard the band Triumph? I'm like, oh, nope. yeah, I remember those guys. And she was like, oh, I was a roadie. And I'm like, oh, cool. I always thought they were Canadian. And she was like, no, no, no. I mean, I was a, I was a roadie. Okay. And I'm like, oh. Use that hand she motion was like, again. Yeah, I Use won't, the hand motion again. I won't, uh, she said, I won't say all the things that I did to earn the <laughs> title. That, and, I, and I started getting the impression that she so was. Being a female roadie is, is a yeah, job. She was. <laughs> She was one of the. She was one of those girls, man. But she straight up told me this on this freelance no, trip. No, the, the problem is she was like a milf, a milf kind of chick. Made the TR6. Yeah. And the Bonneville. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. 
She, uh, she kind of told me that. But anyhow, that's a great she record. Got, or you got hair. Got one more record on this side of the thing. Dr. Hook. Which one is it? Is this the first album? It's do, yeah, it's the no, first No, uh, Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, Dr. Hook. That's it. Yeah. What, right, what, what year is this? Sylvia's Mother. Sylvia's Mother? Is that I on there? It's on there? I think it's on there. And I really hadn't even got to my it's real... It's a great <laughs> album. My <laughs> copy... My real big story. I really found mine up. earlier. My, my copy's pretty busted. Yeah, Sylvia's Mother's on here, and it's oh, really it's a great song. Hey, Carl um, and Tiffany brought that up. But all the other songs are good, don't too. Don't Do Downs, all the Do Downs or whatever. We got a little spam message from supposedly quote unquote Ustream just now. Yeah. Said uh, something about saving our data limit, which, you know, we're probably close you, to. You get that every week, data though, right? Yeah, but no, this one was different. It was worded different. It said Ryan. Well, somebody was trying to fool somebody. I don't know if you're talking about nobody. Nope. They're spamming us. I don't know what. I don't know what. You mean like a virus? Okay, Worm. let's get into some real digs of the week. Real digs. These are the cream of the crop. Cream of the crop. Jesus, man. We need to. Oh, we need to run the graphic. How deep were those? Okay. We need to run the graphic one more time. Let, let's go one more time on the graphic. One more time. I'm freaking out. I'm flipping I this desk you. over. I'm lighting shit on fire. It is. Tough. I'm gonna light everybody oh, on fire. Dig one of the week. Mike Miller, show us what you've got. Okay, these are the cream of the crop that I pulled from the stack. Most of these are today. Uh, let, well, dude, let's talk about We're it. We're still digging the week. Let's talk about <laughs> it. A little while ago, we heard... Oh, no. Ten years after. This is my third ten years after record. This is the Stoned Hinge record. Stoned Hinge. I got this from a place that really overprices their records. But for some reason, it was two. This, this was ever. some bitch in two dollars. Two dollars. This was some bitch in two dollars. We need that sound effect from Better Off Dead. Two dollars. <laughs> I want my two dollars. Company with the Wilhelm scream. This is also on the Darum label, just I like love the uh, label. Uh, the early, well, the early Moody uh, Blues, early uh, David Bowie records are on Darum. Moody Blues. Moody Blues. We talked about Moody Blues. Fresh so um, I picked this up, and it's great. The great. Blue sight it's ever. Great. It is great. And uh, let's hold this guy up. Look at this psyche cover, man. Look at this psyche cover, man. It's almost ahead of its time, though. You almost think that record's like the 80s or something, but they, oh, they've got yeah. that early, early uh, computer awesome. font. Awesome. It's so awesome. Font. So we heard that. It was fantastic. One of the, probably the second or third record we played the whole night. Actually, before you uh, I, rolled I didn't, up. I didn't even get a chance to This hit was it, Buddy it. Miles, a mess. Thing, and it covered the, the early part, the middle part, and the late part. And I've got them all on CD, but uh, my brother-in-law gifted me this really cool vinyl copy of Beatles uh, Anthology Number 2. Oh, wow. Which covers the, oh, look the, at that. Covers the area of Dr. Uh, uh, sorry, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Oh, Pepper, Sergeant, hold Sergeant, it up. I don't drop any of the records in it, though. So I, I like to play it. It's what it is is a lot of uh, al alternate takes of a lot of the songs you know that were recorded during that time. Yeah, look at that. And it's really, really good. All three are great. Jesus but, uh, man, I really love the second and third ones the most. Wow, that's cool. So we'll we'll listen to some of that a little later. Hell yeah, we will. Give it back. Hey, let's um, let's re rack this. Also picked up Mahavishnu Orchestra, 1984, on Warner. Features Mitchell Foreman, Jonas Helborg, Bill Evans, and Billy Cobham. Billy Cobham. Billy, Billy Cobham. Cobham. The corn on the Cobham? The, I've never seen this late of a Mahavishnu, but it was it's in great shape. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna give this a listen. I got three more records. Here we go. Look at this, folks. Kraftwerk! Autobahn! Kraftwerk! Are you Auto kidding me? You have Kraftwerk! When I posted this on the VC, everybody freaked out and started Good saying, hey. Autobahn, Autobahn. Autobahn. Apparently, Autobahn. this is the one to have. Well, you have you have the, uh, the no. telephone call, and the cameraman has Mean Machine, yeah. a Man Machine, I'm sorry. Man Machine. Man Machine. Oh, man. So this is uh, 74 on phonograph, Autobahn. I think this is one of those that everybody's supposed to have. I prefer Tangerine Dream. But sure. They are, when it comes to German uh, crowd, no, tell us about that. I want to hear the difference. What's the difference? 
I love Henry. Well, craft Green. works more. I mean, it's more. There's a lot more dance oh, they, involved. They share dance a number. Style. What do they, they share? share? A number? A telephone call? I don't know. Craft. Eight eight eight. Eight eight. Four. Eight 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 eight. Versus Tangerine eight. Dream. What, what what do they have in common? Electronic, I think, electronic music. I think Tangerine Dream would be more down tempo. Oh yeah, dude. T oh. Tangerine Dream. Not always, though. Not they, always. They added, they added a lot of rhythm. Sure. No, but you need to be open to what they got to offer you. Oh, sure. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Hey, two more records. We're going to get done with uh, Dig of the Week. Look at this, folks. Oh. Hey, come get some of this. I want you to just come get some of this. Dennis Coffee and the Detroit Guitar Band. I've got a 45 from this oh. album. This is the Evolution. This is Sussex. This is a uh, 1969, I think. Jesus, what time? What, what 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 year is that? Do you know that? I'm not sure. I've got. This, I'd say 69. I've got this 45. I listen, I, listen, got, I listen to it on YouTube. It's a great. Yeah, I've album. got another. This has uh, Scorpio on it. Yep. That's the 45. That's I've the got. biggie. That's the that's the one. But look at this, man. Let's look, hold this. Great up. cover. Let's hold this up, cameraman. Let's look at that. Dennis Coffee, man. I don't know that I've ever heard a Dennis Coffee track that I've been uh, opposed to. And look at the back of that, too. My man Jake. is getting loose. Another great Detroit uh, musician. Guy. And my number one. The number dig one. Of dig the week. Of the week. Number one. Dig of the week. 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 week number week, one. Week. week. We got to go into the uh, basket. We were leaving. We were walking we out were the door. We were leaving the spot today. And the guy said, hey, we just got these records that came in. They're in this car over here. Number Nobody one. has looked through them yet. Number one. So, so we kind of had to look through those. And what, what did we discover? I see there was a Chicago Transit Authority. Which what else? Watch. You got the CTA. What else? I'll, I know it, it was more. It was a little scratchy, so I didn't get it. You didn't get it. What about the Woodstock? Did you get it? I got the Woodstock. Woodstock soundtrack. The three, three albums. The sound, the, from the soundtrack feature from, film. Yeah, that's great. And this is what I picked up, folks. And this is our real dig of the week. And I just want to hold hands with you on it for a second. Because <laughs> uh, what we got here is something else by the Kinks. The Kinks. What year is the Kinks? Right this is because the Kinks have been on. around forever since '64 or maybe '63. This is '67, I believe. Mm. And I looked this up. I knew Kinks was something that around. I should turn it around. I knew that that was something that I should pick up, regardless. Yeah, it's. it's and when I got back and looked it up on Discogs, it's a psych year, so. there are four of them available. Have you listened to it yet? Nope. This is first time you. First time me. Let's listen. There to was it four now. of them available, and the first one started out at forty-five bucks. Forty-five bucks. Forty-five bucks. This one looked how like much, it was in. How much did you pay for it? Two dollars. Two dollars. This one looked like it was in good shape. Even the cover is in decent shape, and the record looks like it's in decent shape. I don't want to jinx or send it because maybe it's terrible. I don't know, but uh, well, they, they, it's in good shape. The Kings have never disappointed me. Probably not. Even in so the, here's even what in we're going to do, folks. Thanks for staying with us here on Grown Man Record Night. We're going to dip down for just a quick second, listen to some of this Kinks record, and then we're going to come back with a quick, so to speak, and chip chat. So you're going to want to stay with us here on Grown Man Record Night. Don't you're not switching to the graphic? Not going to the graphic. You're not going to the graphic. What's wrong Another with the graphic? Another girl named Lola took her back to my place. Feeling good, feeling Which bad. Which one do you want to go to? Uh, it's your choice. You choose that fine Hold looking on. young lady that saw Sean 0612. Stay in Hook control. Go, I want you here with me. It's your choice of really graphic. Not as cool okay. as I'd like to be, That's the dig of the week. Under my bed. Okay. And there's a little now we're going to go to dig of the week. I mean, uh, the grown man record night. And uh, we'll see you here in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us. Paranoia. Seriously, we don't touch your internet doll. I'm going to get so mad at you. You don't know how mad I'll get at you. Jesus Christ, I swear to God I'll get mad at you. Hey everybody, we appreciate you staying with us. 
I need to bring that house down a little bit. Oh boy. Hey, what will we listen to here during the break? What was that? Uh, that's the Soviet funk. Yeah, the Soviet funk record, man. That's the Soviet funk. Wow. I'm going to lean into the shot. And lean ah, into the go. shot. I really, look, I really look up to you while I'm sitting here. Yeah, John Wayne. Hey, like that's true, cool, man. True grit. Soviet funk. Yeah, not really Soviet. Some guys in Minneapolis, I think, but it's really a great funk record. It's, really good it's good, regardless. I love it. Regardless. Well, I it. I, I've paid more for that than any record I ever bought. I thought I was getting the, the real deal, but although it's not the real deal. Are you thirsty? Are you okay? Are you okay? We need to help you? I got a little something hung up in my throat What's going now? on? What we got to do? Got, what I got do? a little something hung up in my gizzard. Oh, my God. And uh, when you got something hung up in your gizzard, there's only one thing. Do you need I, some bread? No, I don't need any bread. Do you need bread. some fruit? No, I don't need any fruit. Do you need, like, no. maybe a shoe? No, I don't need any of that. What I need, what I need is the need for speed. No. What I need when I have something caught up in my gizzard is, so, is a little so um, to speak. So to speak, what you need is, um, what do you need, so to speak? A little so, so to speak. speak. So, so, so to speak. speak. Yeah, we're going to take it easy here so for a few speak. minutes and go to a little so to speak. So to speak. And um, so to speak. What we're going to do for this little so to speak this speak. evening, we're going to talk about a little bitty soda, first of all. A little bitty soda? A little bitty soda, first of all. Okay. We got just, uh, we got us a little bitty soda. This is a chubby soda. A chubby? Chubby. A chubby. And this is Chubby's Pineapple Sunshine Soda, made with real cane sugar. I've heard the word chubby before, and I don't think it's very pleasant. The bossman. A chubby. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, uh, you don't say a chubby, then you're talking no, no, about something else. Okay. That's not what this is? Three. In a bottle? Two. A one. chubby in a bottle. Right. Chubby in a bottle. This comes from the bossman, and I'll tell chubby you. Chubby in a bottle. This says it's a, it's a product of Trinidad and Tobago. Oh, then this is... A message in a bottle. A chubby in a bottle. Oh. Okay, you go ahead. This is a product of Trinidad and Tobago. 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 Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, Hello. Hello, folks of Trinidad and Tobago. We're going to have Chubby. Chubby. Um, I don't know any... Sh <laughs> Their website is... <laughs> well, check this out. <laughs> Their website is chubbykidsclub.com. Oh. If only if you, when you were a kid, you'd have had the chance to be a chubby I kid. Been, a I would have been, been all over this. Because it was chubbykidsclub.com. I think you should do it. You should get all over it right now. I'm going to get all over it right now. I, I implore everyone, please go to chubbykidsclub.com and uh, chubby kids. register with their website and tell them that grown men record night. Chubby kids. Sent you. Com. What we have here is the uh, piña. Piña colada. Pina. Pina col I'm not going to say colada because they don't want the kids to be drinking the no, piña no, 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 colada. No. But it's the piña. But this is, I'll tell you, it's caffeine free. And it's uh, carbonated water, sugar. I mean, this is a 100% it's it's sugar. real sugar. It's a little bitty guy. It's, it's not a little bitty guy. Okay, let's go down. So to speak. So to speak. Oh, that's good, man. You want to try that? I guess so. It's wow, chubby. that is really good. It's pineapple sunshine. It's pineapple. Do you smell the sun? Do you taste the sunshine? Absolutely. That's good, man. Pineapple juice, carbonated water, sunshine. Yep. Okay. Sunshine. <laughs> Kill that. I think this will be good in here. Let's hold that up. That's a little bitty guy. Bossman hooked us up with that. Little bitty guy. You try that. It's a little bit. You don't yet. tell me every time I come over here, I don't have something mixed that tastes really Always. good. Always. What do you well, think of that? Oh, that's good, man. God, it's good. But um, how about this? A little bitty guy made with a little cane sugar. That's cool, man. Hey, uh, cameraman brought us back uh, something from his uh, recent trips to the Appalachian Service Project. You want to go to okay. going to want to go to Appalachian Service ASP? Yes, you're going to want to go to ASP.org. ASPCA? No, no. ASP. We should have C. Dot org. Dot org. American 
That's where you can donate money. American service people. Appalachian service project. American service people. You can donate money. <laughs> you can donate your time. Appalachia. Appalachia. It's Appalachia. With no end. Appalachia. There's no end. There's no end. Yeah. yeah. Appalachia. It's, you it's, can donate your time. You can donate money. It's a good. It's and you a can good you project. give your time, and we appreciate. That's what cameraman does. We he appreciate goes up you and, doing that. He helps out people that uh. I ain't have, got no money. Tell us about it. I ain't got no money. What kind of things did you do? What kind of? What did you do? What did you pass? Did, did you build a bridge? Yeah. Across the mountain. Metaphorically. Speaking. From the top of one mountain yep. to another mountain, you built a bridge. The For people bridge that uh, need ever. a little help. And what with else their... did you do? Did you dig did you dig a river? The deepest trenches. The biggest river ever. The deepest we... trenches. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Cup, we cup, clap. Yeah. Cameraman did all that. He's helping people get their get their shit back together. Everybody just wants their shit back together. You know what I mean? All in all, everybody just wants their shit together. We, you, we got our shit together. Yeah. Sometimes we got our shit together. And uh, every every now and then, some people need some help getting their shit together. That's what ASP... AS... ASP... <laughs> AS, it's ASP. Yeah. Does. The Appalachian That's Service it. Project. Appalachian Service Project. They so help that, people get but, their shit together. But that soda was really good. Do you have any oh, more sodas fantastic. we want to talk about? We got one more. Cameraman brought back for us. It's the Red Rock Premium Cola. This is out of Atlanta, Georgia. Red Rock. Since 1885. I'll tell you. Just the right bite is their uh, moniker there. Red Rock's in Colorado, though, right? Now, that, look, I, here, here's another one. Carbonated water, 100% cane sugar, caramel, color, phosphoric acid, caffeine, and natural flavor. As I get older, I really appreciate a natural cola taste. A yeah, just, but that natural flavor is probably beaver taint. No, so, no, no. You know. But it's, it's stripped down <laughs> cola. Beaver taint. Original cola. Probably the way carbonated beaver taint. Pepsi and Coke originally were, were. Originally well, were. It's probably unpalatable for some people. They're like, oh, that's so foreign to me. Yeah. I'm used to that chemical that tastes like cola. Exactly. And um, as I get older, I really appreciate the stripped down version of what we know as a cola. And it tastes kind of raw and like, wow. What does the Red Rock taste like? Let's give it a the, shot. It's the right bite, right? It says just the right bite. Just the right I'll bite. Get, I'll take a pull and I'll let you show it off to the camera. Camera. Camera can you show it off. It's a pull. Red Rock. You want to try that? What's this record we're listening to here? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, that's good, man. That's a good raw cola. What's that taste like to you? An RC? Sort of. It's like an RC if you were standing in the factory. It's like RC. an RC if they hadn't let out all the carbonation. The RC got well. See, flat. that's the problem. So it's a car. It's an RC like an RC should taste. I think that's the problem with RC or somebody, something like that. Somebody keeps opening up the tops, like letting all the carbonation. Well, out. no, they've probably been <laughs> sitting. <laughs> that's a conspiracy. No, they've probably been sitting on the I damn did, shelf for I told that's my job. Six you know. or eight months. You know what I mean? So if you were sitting in the factory when they're making an RC, it probably tastes like that. Oh. But if you're sitting in the... I'll tell you what I want to do in the fall. I think we should do a so to speak from the fair and, and do the root beer. Oh, Talk the, to the root beer the vendor. Real have root make beer. some root beer for us. Absolutely. Live? No. We could do live. We could do live. We could do live. Let's do it. Okay. Do hey, that was a great so to speak. We checked out the chubby soda from uh, Trinidad and Tobacco. We also mm. checked out the uh, Red Rock soda. Red Rock. Rock. Over a century of just the right bite. I'm a Diet Coke man now, though. From uh, Georgia. I'm sold on the chemicals right now with but Diet Coke. It, that's so good, though, man. That cola was so good. Well, the beaver tank. So what we're going to do here... The beaver tank is really good. What we're going to do here... Man, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, you're hungry. I'm hungry, too, man. So we're going to go right from, so to speak, right on into Chip Chat. Is this record okay? It's okay. Okay. I'm okay. You're okay. You both Mom just a little right. bit. That is all right. You we'll both just a little, little bit weird. weird. I'm you hungry for uh, salty Don't snack. Give your chips okay. Away. We got a few. Uh, okay, I'm dropping things. Steve, okay. tell us a little bit about what what our open bag specialist for this evening. Well, I brought, 
You turn me on to this uh, here uh, Gordo's. Okay. From Food Lion, and this stuff is really good. It tastes like the cheese dip you get in the, in the Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Okay, folks. I'll just I'll just hip you to what is. Um... And I I love a good plain chip, and my favorite and my daughter's favorite is the Santitas, the two dollar bag. You can't yeah. beat it for two bucks. That's true. That's a good that's a good tortilla it's a great, chip. It's a great tortilla chip. And I'll tell you, folks, if you uh, to liven up your taco night. Everybody's got a taco night, right? The family. You're talking about families will have a. You talking about mm -hmm, no, 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 taco night? Yeah, no, no. If God didn't want man to eat it, why would he make it look like a taco? Yeah. Uh, but everybody, everybody, everybody has a taco night in their family, and we you go get your <laughs> stuff, and you know. Let me tell you, if you have this in your local grocerya. The Gordo's cheese dip. This is like really? the white cheese dip it's that you really get good. in the uh, Mexican restaurants that you probably go to. It's good. I use this in my tacos almost. Oh, you pour you pour it on your taco. Absolutely, with my ground like a, like a finished top. Absolutely, yes, sir. Uh -huh. With my ground beef. Okay. Okay. Ground beef, okay. onion. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some lettuce. Mm -hmm. okay. Whatever your deal is. Do tell. And for my cheese, I'll add the, uh, this is white, it's, it's white queso. It's queso. It's white queso, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's probably grease is what it is. Sure. It's probably and large I, grease. Uh, whatever it is. I don't With even want to know. jalapeno added. But this flavor. cheese it's is what, it, that's what takes your tacos to the damn next level. The damn next. Don't just stop. Are we still are we still playing music right now? Because we can't hear. I can't I don't hear know, house sound from seven. Don't stop at shredded cheese, folks. You're gonna want to go to your um, your your Mexican like you know? queso type cheese. You are. That's what's gonna make your tacos go, take, go to the go, next go to level. Billy go ahead and take Billy Cobb. Go ahead and take Billy Cobb. This is gonna Cobb. take your this is gonna take your tacos to the next level. Oh, oh, definitely. Oh, your family will love you. All it is, this is four bucks where your normal bag of cheese, of shredded cheese is going to be like two bucks, probably two nineteen. dollars It's sale. really not too spicy for your younger kids. I sure think it's, not. It's spicy, but it's... It's a good way to introduce your, your kids to, uh, to spicy. Lard, to lard. To spicy, without being like, hey, here's some hot wings. Which spice? Oh. It's posh spice? No, 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 no. Scary spice. No, no, no. But it's a good way to introduce your kids to spice without getting too crazy and making them being like, oh, no, 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 I don't like spicy things forever. And they'll be 25 before they fossil. I don't like spicy things forever. Yeah, you know what I mean? I like spicy things. My dad kind of brought me into it early with hot dogs. He was like, just put you a little Texas Pete on your hot dog. And I was like, oh, I don't know, it's too hot. me. But I, then as I got a little bit older, maybe one or two years older than that, I took a little drip, drop, one, two, three, on a hot dog. Drip, drop, one, two, three. Of, of a... Uh, like cup, cup, clap? Yeah. That's uh, uh, Thanks for calling live Grown Man Record Night. You're live, live on, the on the air. Live on the air. Here we are. This has never been done before. It's our first call. And it's our last call. <laughs> um, so... The deal is, this will take your tacos to the next level. I'm going to yeah. try an open egg special. So, is this chip chat? Are we in chip chat? We're in chip chat. Let's talk about some chips. Okay. I remember bringing something over a while back. Tell us about this, Steve. I don't know. I think you've had plantain chips on the show before. We have had a plantain chip. This is the Trader Joe's plantain chip. I've not had this plantain chip. It's a roasted plantain chip, and it has. Oh, some, it's roasted. It has some type of a, a, a primate on the cover. I want to say that's a uh, inappropriate. What kind, of, what kind of primate is that? Do you think? A macaque. Okay, so these are the. Uh, okay. Didn't have the sweet. I was expecting a little sweetness, but. Maybe I was thinking banana. These are banana. good. These are good. And these would be really good in your dip. <laughs> you think so? Did you just go plantain into uh, queso dip? Yes. Plantain into queso dip. We, well, it's, you know, it's all South America. I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. It's all South America. You do. You think so? Yep. I've tried plantains. Okay. You hold these up? These are pretty good, y'all. Oh, wow. These are good. <laughs> It ain't like crazy plantain, like you get a sweet plantain or a roasty plantain. This isn't that. It's all. different. It's, it's almost like, neutral. It's like a baked. It's almost is neutral. It, it, oh, these are roasted, right? Yeah. Okay. Who makes these from Trader Joe's? Comes out of California. Trader Joe's. There's at least six different people. 
Wow, that's good. Is it true Trader Joe's and Aldi are the same? I don't know about that. Somebody said that. I don't know. Okay. Let's keep it moving. Chip. I believe Trader Joe's was voted the, the most popular grocery store in the country. Really? Hey, cameraman. Hey, cameraman. Let's, tell take, us. let's take Chip Chat a little south of the border. Let's, tell me about these Beyond food. the Mason Dixon line. Well, beyond the Mason Dixon. South tell me Mason. about these food city chicharrones. Hey, I've had every. Uh, 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 I think I've had every pork rind in America. But these are sweet and mild. Sweet and mild pork rind? Are you kidding me? Sweet and mild chicharrones or pork rinds as we know them around these parts. Pork skin. What is uh, what is Food City? Was that a store up where you were? It's a, it's a, it's a store up in Kentucky. I think area. it used to be Food City in Winston Salem, but they closed their doors. Like, Look at these, yeah. man. Twenty years ago. So typically, pork rinds are normal or hot, or hot or barbecue. Hot. They like to make them hot. Sometimes you can find salt and vinegar, which goes with a nice pale ale, by the way. If you can find the salt and vinegar ones, those goes with pale ale, really good. So we're talking sweet and mild, which I've never seen ever before. Let's try these out. Mmm. Wow. Even though they smell like feet. They smell like someone's ass. Those are good, man. That's the best pork feet you ever eat. Mm. These are good. So this would be store brand for Food City, correct? Yeah. Let's hold those up. Let's not get Food City, let's not rip Food City off at all. Do you think they have high standards of keeping their equipment clean? When it comes to pork, I mean, I mean when it comes to pork. Does it matter? I like it rough. Or you like it dirty? I like, you like it dirty. I like my standards rough. Okay. I don't like the uh, pork. I like them to put the hooves and the, the ears and the, okay. the screams and the soles and the, my shoe. All in there. You roll it up in there, and I think that spirit comes through in the bag. It comes through to us. <laughs> spirit comes through in the bag. Uh, we get the spirit, man. It's, a, it's from an animal. I like the fact that... Yeah, right, okay. You don't get this a lot, but I like the fact that you can see the chips in there. With a clear bag. Clear bag. There are too many solid bags, you can't see what you buy. That's true. Show me what I'm getting. Okay, I see it. I might buy that. That's you know, with a pork snack like uh, chicharrones, you do. There's an example of one that maybe you don't know what the fuck you're gonna get. You do get the spirit of the animal through the bag. What? Celebrate it. This pork is from an animal. You've seen, you've seen pork rinds made, right? Uh, it's amazing. Cameraman how, has. It's amazing how the fat just explodes and then it, the, the rendering plant. Yes. We won't get into that on chips. In there. Right? Yeah, you don't want. To. You don't want to. You don't want to go there. And you won't eat chips anymore. So we got one last chip we want to cover on chip chat on this. Uh, epic edition epic of Roll Man Record Night. Epic 41. Wasn't that Bush? Number 41. 41. Which, which one? 43 or 41? Bush. Clinton 42. Clinton was 42? You 41? know what this is? Uh, no, you know what that is? The thing to clean your ears with? No, 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 no. It's the letter V. What we're talking here, a friend of the program, Trisha Bailey, yes. hooked us up with these. She got these at TJ Maxx. I don't know if they have TJ Maxx where you folks are from. Can you wear it? Can you wear those chips? Exactly. TJ Maxx is like a, a discount clothing store, like a Ross dress for less. But they'll always have like some candy in there and some Yeah, video, they got some, some random sections. Some PC video games, CD-ROMs. Exactly. So this came... This Oregon from, Trail. Oregon Trail. Uh, Steve has died of typhoid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always caulk the wagon. Always caulk the wagon. And fjord the river. Fjord it. you got to remember to caulk the wagon. Right? Caulk the wagon. You don't caulk. Whoa. Cameraman, you don't caulk the wagon. Cameraman you, you might as well start over. No, you start over. So these are from Deep River Snacks. Zesty jalapeno. Trisha loves the jalapeno. You know what I mean? Trisha, more than anybody that I know. Okay. Loves the jalapeno. My, my wife loves jalapeno. Your wife loves jalapenos? She does. In fact, I think that's an couple, estrogen thing. She's got a couple bags of. of uh, I think it's an estrogen thing? Um, well, women love the jalapeno? Uh, I love the jalapeno. I like jalapeno. Do I have too much estrogen in me? Is that what you're uh, I do know that. Uh, I, sing, I can sing pretty high. 
That's true. That's estrogen maybe Fos just coming through. Can you sing in a really um, I like sexy falsetto voice? I like to sing, I like to sing alto with the, with the altos in the falsetto. choir. Falsetto. You, you know what can man. Andy Bernard, the Nard okay. Dog. So these are from... Um, if I could turn back time. These are from Deep River Snacks in Connecticut. We're talking Conne uh, Connecticut. We're talking... Conne Connecticut. Connecticut. We're talking zesty jalapeno. Deep River? Deep River. Zesty. That's right up the road. Zesty jalapeno. These are, these are uh, kettle type chip. Kettle type chip? They're harder. Harder. Try them out. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Tastes like an old school kettle chip, but kind of damn really zippy on the toppy end of the zingy jalapeno. Burn your tongue. Mm, bitey. Bitey. You tonguey. know what I mean by toppy? Tonguey. Yeah, tonguey. Tip of the tonguey. Holy God. Give me one. Mmm. They're spicy. They're spicy, man. You gotta find my tea. Woo! This was a great chip chat. Oh, man. I Those believe, are zippy. I believe there was a soda speak in there, too, somewhere. We had a soda speak. We had a chip chat. Oh, okay. God. I mean, we, we talked about 350. Uh, 799,000 records. Plantains. We How many records like, we talk about? We went from like plantains in the, in the Caribbean to like uh, pigs that have been rendered. This is the most physical work I've done all week is doing the show. Okay. I got this. Man, I don't even know what to say. I'm wore out. I'm, I'm wore out for all the records. Let's, and play, all the let's sodas play some music. Man. And all the chip chats. So here's what we're going to do, folks. Got a lot of music. We're going to break it down. We're going to play all this um, cool music we're going to talk about. Oh, I so appreciate you joining us for. Uh, I, I do recommend, recommend everybody just before you get carried away with all this, you got to watch on. Go to YouTube and watch a documentary called Vinyl. Yeah. You got to watch it. Once you watch it, you get, understand. Okay. Hey, I Kitty. don't want that to happen. <laughs> Look at Kitty over there watching. Kitty's, Kitty's seeing about it. Recorded before a live studio audience. Yeah, so thanks everybody for joining us for Grown Man Record Night. Uh, on our 41st edition, we did a dig of the week. We did a, an epic dig of the week with epic. crazy, crazy stuff. I had to catch up. Yeah, it was, it was, it was were, crazy. We, it was crazy. We, we it was way had, too long, really but we had, we, had enough, we had enough records to substantiate I'd us. I probably have four something. times as much to yeah, show them. Me too, me too. We just can't do it. We just can't do it. We did a soda speech. We did a chip chat. I'm yep. slurring my words. Yep. We're drinking. We're drinking liquor for people. Uh, so I'm thanks. drinking sweet tea. I don't know about what yeah, you're drinking. I don't know. I'm just yeah. Sweet tea and blackberry juice. Yeah, man. You told me it was blackberry. Hey, thanks. Juice. Thanks everybody for you joining told me. us. You told me. It's blackberry um, juice. Be sure to uh, subscribe to us on YouTube.com/slash/MacheteMiller. All these all these segments are going to end up there. Jesus Christ. Sweet berry wine. Sweet berry wine. Great job. Great, 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 great job. <laughs> all these all these segments will end up on the YouTube channel. And um, be sure to check us out here every night on Ustream.tv slash users machete miller. If you get in a, in a pickle, just Google Grown Man Record pickle. Night. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Pickle. Uh. So if you, you find yourself hanging out. Hanging out. If you're hanging out with hanging us. Out. And uh, you got a party going on. Put on a little grown man record night. We'll play your greatest like jazz, rock, funk, fusion, Dare you ask hip hop, request? whatever. You got something you want to hear? Holler at us, man. Holler at us. But if you're partying, man. Get up with us on a Friday night, you know what I'm saying? Just turn the house sound up a little bit. Absolutely. So just get up with us here on Grown Men Record Night. Every Friday night, 8.30 to like bananas late. Uh, and uh, you know, you can check us out on uh, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash machete miller. You can do all kinds of things to us. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.